and react this episode of Hero Comics. Talking about you know, talking about Hero Comics hate mail, transgender hate mail, homosexual hate mail, uh, transgender hate mail, homosexual hate mail, atheist hate mail. Where are we? We're on the center. Can we like move that out of the way here? Move it over. There you go. That looks better. That looks better. Yeah, I'm more in the center now. Uh, transgender hate mail, homosexual hate mail, atheist hate mail. Just some of his stuff. Uh, mm, general comments on YouTube and DeviantArt. Mm, where I usually visit. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about uh, responding to my comments against the transgender, homosexual, and atheist, whatever lifestyles. Uh, and a few other things. Sort of. Mm -hmm. uh, trigger warning words like penis, vagina, uterus, ovaries, testicles, and bubble will be used in these videos. I am a Bible-believing Christian, so when I say may take you off, there are people that say they're Christian but don't believe in the Bible, which really messes them up. And when they say may take you off, there are people that say that God is evil, which is wrong, or that God doesn't like this, which is wrong, and when they say may take you off. Uh, let's continue on here. I'm doing my screen caps for my cell phone first. Once I finish with that, then I'll go all the way back to the beginning <laughs> of all the hate mail I have accumulated over the years and just go through that because I have to re re reapply it. Mm -hmm. re uh, basically, I you know, deleted all the old videos because my, you know, my brother was saying, well, I because my brother saw them, saw stuff from them and was like, yeah, they, they could say you, you're, you're harassing them. You know, you could get in trouble for that, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. In trouble for that, you know, and it's like really sad because it's like, yeah, I was talking about how I wanted to end it all because I don't look like I want to look. And my body does stuff I don't want it to do, <laughs> you know, that's normal stuff according to science. Uh, I don't want it to do that, <laughs> you know. So, and then uh, this guy said, You don't have to worry about that, and, you know, it's normal stuff, you know, you need to learn to educate yourself. I'm like, Oh, he's harassing me, you know, you arrest him, <laughs> you know, like, so bad. Uh, continue on here, I'm like, how a man looks and acts like a gay, continue on here. This girl, person with ovaries is hating on me, uh, is coming at me, saying that she presents as masculine, but not male, which makes no sense, because <laughs> masculine is male, you know? she says she's a man, that's, that's a male, human, so that, that doesn't work, uh, stereotype about me, you know, she's saying, I, I do the things that men like, <laughs> the stereotypes, you know, come on, go, and I love how you play that, I disagree, so it's based on lies, oh, yeah. it's a lies card, most likely, yeah. You can take off your tinfoil hat. Sometimes things are actually correct. Mm, yes, but uh, in this case, they're wrong. Mm, it's like a deal. And I say, when a person born with ovaries says she is male, that is a lie. Mm, not just because I don't like she, what she, when she says that, but because, according to science, ovaries are female. Reproductive organs. So what she is saying is not correct. Mm, yeah, mm, sorry. Science is on my side. Guys, right? <laughs> not on that side. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they don't like that. Mm, go ahead and say it goes. Can you on here? That's, that's grade school science. That's old science. <laughs> that's that stuff that's 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 not you know the new stuff that people that's based on what people have said, uh, famous people said <laughs> is that's not stuff that based on what people famous people said. That's the stuff that's in those books you know, that they wrote after they after that people wrote. After they studied human physiology. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Can anyone? And then so I say I say I start a comment. I start a comment on here this one. I say, if you were meant to present as male, then you would have been born with testicles. Mm. You are right that both men and women can lie about their biological sex, though, and you are an example to others. Whether, whenever you say, I feel better because I present this way, there will be people who will say, maybe that's good work for me, and that is wrong. It's true. <laughs> it's true. That's what they're doing. That's what happens. They pass that stuff on. Not only do they do bad stuff to themselves, they're passing it on to others, because you know, every now and then, you see testimonies uh, in their journal entries and, and things like There's comics about it, too. Basically, where the girl people and girls, you know, where the girls, person with people with ovaries, or boys, people with testicles, are saying, "Yeah, no, I was wondering why I was so different than everyone else." Then I saw someone else say, "Yeah, I, you know, I represent this way. I'm transgender." And I'm like, "Oh, maybe that's what I am." You know, you know? so now I'm doing this other stuff. You know, mm -hmm, yeah, mm, yeah, that's that's wrong, mm -hmm, and that's and that's wrong, and that's why I have to fight against it. I absolutely disagree. It's important to hold people back. You know, the Bible says, hold those, hold back those standing towards slaughter. Mm -hmm. It says it. You know, rescue those being led to death, hold back those standing towards slaughter. And they're, they're basically saying, you know, that if they don't transition, they'll die. Mm -hmm. you know, well, I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, not because uh, your body will turn on itself and uh, you know, die from bad health. No, because you'll end your own, you know, take your self harm yourself to death. Mm -hmm. You'll end it all, you know. You know, you're afraid you'll end it all. So you're saying, "Oh, how do I not end it all?" I know. Instead of saying, "No, I'm not going to do that," <laughs> I'm going to try and deceive people. <laughs> you know, no, not cool. New on here. As uh, this person, this girl says, "Unfortunately, there's no one who exists that controls that." Controls what? 
Well, you are more testicles. You are right about me looking like the rest of You are right to others. Whenever you feel the same, but don't this way that we feel the same. Yeah, that would, for me, that is wrong. Or there's no way, no one is to control that. So, you know, uh, control what? You can you can choose what you say <laughs> to others. You know? So help them, you know, basically to try to lead them on the right path. The choice of going on the right path or the wrong path is up to them. Is ultimately up to them. But, you know, you could say this is the wrong path. You gotta stay away from it. It's dangerous. So here's something. No, 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 no. Let's go. And I make it very clear that I have this for you. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, she's got something. She's afraid. You know, basically, she makes it very clear that she has she uh, has something that she believes is a condition that she cannot change, mm -hmm. which is uh, wrong. It's a fear that you can't. Mm -hmm. You can fight against that stuff. What's you on here? And that most people don't. Mm -hmm. No, everyone deals with their own fear, so no, that's not true. I don't encourage any under, I know, I know most people take any medical steps. In fact, you can't, yes, you can. <laughs> you do all the time, because you're saying, I feel happier now that I've done this. <laughs> yeah, they thought I was a dude. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> pull the wool right over their eyes. Yeah, I'm like, no, this is bad. You gotta stop. This is dangerous. And then uh, I say, people can get diagnosed as this work by some quack doctor and then start to lie about biological sex and say that it made them feel better. As for control, we all have to learn how to without lying. Mm -hmm. We must learn how to control. We must learn to fight against the nasty stuff. We must learn about it. And then someone says, then this girl says, wow, now that you said that for the well, whatever if billionth time, I have realized that I don't care. Mm -hmm. And I agree, God made no mistakes. Because he isn't real. Mm -hmm. I say, uh, again, uh, people say God is real. They're wrong. <laughs> Which is wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, they just made to kill. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, they're wrong. And I say, people do. Lying about their dialectical sex is trick people and treat them like they want to. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. He isn't real. I, yeah, I ignore all the evidence that he is real. <laughs> And then someone says, then the girl says, this the quack doctor, quack doctor is in question, went to medical school. Yes, and, and I was going against that. So, mm, anyway, he has taken a, he has taken an oath never to harm a patient mm -mm, and gone against that. Only to help, mm, gone against that. Mm, this quack doctor is it required to take patients through an extremely long and tedious cycle that ultimately ends with, uh, Kissing the butt, <laughs> kissing the butt cheeks, and sing them on their way to uh, get their bodies mutilated mm. and poisoned to death. Mm. No, mm. Okay, no, it doesn't work. Mm. It's rigged. Continue on here. Uh, lots of people still can't transition. Still can't. And uh, so lots of people still can't transition because, sorry, too many patients. Yeah, that is the last. No, eventually they'll find somebody that will um, uh, poison, that will damage, that will uh, mutilate their genitals and poison them mm. and get them on poison. So, yeah. Mm. Oh, there, there you go. Done. Mm. They can do it. They'll get it. You know, eventually, it's like, I you know, failed so many times to try and get this going. Eventually, I was able to find the place I needed to go so I could get this done. Yay! You know, you know they'll, like, they'll, they'll, that's part of their testimony. They'll say that. Yeah, it took a long time, but I finally, finally got me looking more like I wanted to look. Mm, you know, I, now I look male, more male. Now I look more female. You know, you know, basically like, and, and it's like, yeah, now I get to see people more. That's what they're, they're saying. Wrong. You can do it. Uh, sorry, too many patients. You actually need more referrals for uh, hormone replacement therapy. You're too fat for surgery. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Surgery. Come back when you're dangerously underweight. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's wrong, mm -hmm. too. <laughs> Even the very system that lets us exist is very restrictive. Mm -hmm. Some parts of it are very broken, because every day, that last part, you think we have it easy? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're messing yourself up. There's things you don't have to do mm -hmm. to uh, be yourself, you know, and you're doing them, mm -hmm. and it all it does is mess you up. Mm -hmm. Continue on. Control? I just want to live. Yeah, that's part of control. Continue on. Mm -hmm. like, and I say, then you have to learn to without lying about your biological sex. Will it be easy? No. But it's real life, not transgender fantasy. Mm -hmm. Transgender fantasy. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good. Uh, you must fight against uh, the trend. Yeah. You know. Ginger lifestyle. <laughs> Style is based on fantasy. Yep. Can you on here, please? Not transgender fantasy. Can you on? What time we got? Yeah, yeah uh, we're almost out of time. So I'll say, see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and DeviantArt. Continue on this stuff.